Howdy folks, I've had a recent viewer request about how to program in flapperons uh, and elevator compensation on a micro sky hunter using OpenTX on a Turnigy 9X. I don't have a 9X anymore but the 9X are, uh, is close enough. Uh, I don't actually know if flapperons are a good idea on a model this small but uh, Lloyd asked for it and your job Lloyd is to test it out and let me know how it works. But I'll show you how to do the programming and program in the uh, elevator compensation. First thing I have to do is change the receiver um, because I'm using a, an FR Sky receiver in there at the moment but we need to use the um, six channel Turnigy receiver. Okay, ready to start. Now we're going to be doing some programming on this while it's live, so I'm definitely going to take the prop off for this one because we could quite easily make the prop go full full ball while we're doing the programming. There we go, prop is off. We are good to go. So the first step is to make a new model. Create model. There we go, called model 12 and we'll call that a name and i'm going to call it the m sky hunter there we go now for setting up the programming so nothing is set up at this moment uh, this is the sticks menu where you can put in dual rates expo um, differential things like that i'm not going to worry about that i do most of my stuff on the mixer page here now it's pre-populated with uh, these settings which is not what i want i'm going to change them I like uh, ailerons in 1 and 2, so I'm going to change that to aileron there. And I want aileron on the second line as well, so I'm just going to copy that down. I want elevator on the uh, channel 4, so I'm going to move that down to channel 4. Get rid of that aileron input there. All right, so now we're right. We've got ailerons on one and two, throttle on three, elevator on four. So now let's just check on the plane itself how that works. So what I've done here, I've got the ESC plugged into three for power. I've plugged the right aileron into channel one. It's actually working in the wrong direction, but we'll fix that up later on. All right, I'll plug uh, the left aileron into channel two. And I'll plug the elevator into channel 4. Elevator is working in the right direction. Ailerons are working in the wrong direction. So to get the ailerons working in the right direction, you can just go up here to the weight value. Uh, long press the menu to enter to edit it. And change that to negative 100. And that will work. But it's not the best way to do it because you could end up with the trims going one way and the um, aileron working in the other direction. So what I would do is move across to the servo screen and in channel one line here, you move across over to this point here and you can, by pushing menu, invert the channel. There we go. Ailerons are now working in the right direction, elevators working in the right direction. Okay, so now to add flapper on function. Um, so we're going to add extra lines of programming to channel 1 and channel 2 and channel 4 for a bit of ele elevator compensation um, because when you drop the flaps or flapper ons, most models will balloon up. So you need to put in a little bit of negative elevator to uh, keep it flying level. And it happens to vary in degrees with different models. Uh, I've even had models that needed no compensation at all. What I'm going to do is copy that line, so highlight it, down arrow and menu to copy it. Long press the menu to edit it. Now there are a couple of ways to uh, add flapper on function. You can just select the three position switch here and I'll show you what that does straight off. So that gives equal movement up and down so effectively spoilerons or flapperons. If you want that, that's great. You can just leave it as it is. But we want a little bit 
more subtle control. We want just flapper ons and we want less than 100% uh, up and 100% down. You can actually reduce that weight, say down to 25 or something like that, and offset it by negative 25. And I'll show you what that does. So now the flapper on is it's actually working in the reverse to what I want. That's the ID switch on the bottom. Uh, there's no flapper on function in the middle. There's a little bit of flapper on, and in the top position there's more flapper on. I can actually reverse that so it works the other way around. So I'll, I'll make that go to negative 25. There you go, so negative 25 and negative 25 gives the right effect. Here we go. ID switch top, middle and bottom. And you can increase the throws if you want to just by increasing these, two, or sorry, decreasing these numbers here down to uh, larger negative numbers. Now to make that happen on the left aileron as well, we will just copy that down the left aileron to channel 2. Now that's going to be working in the wrong direction I think. Yes, yeah, so that's making the left aileron go up. So we need to reverse, reverse that weight and that offset. And now we should be right. There we go. So now we've got flapper ons on the ID switch. So now we need to program in some uh, elevator compensation uh, just in case the model balloons up when you drop the flapper ons like most models will. And by ballooning up what I mean is when you drop the flapper ons down the plane heads up like that and it can get so bad that it will actually stall. So what you want to do is have a little bit of negative elevator so that when the fl flapper ons go down the elevator can compensates for it. Uh, we don't know how much compensation we need at this stage, it's a matter of just uh, flying it, making adjustments in the field. So the way we're going to do it is uh, make the elevator drop down a little bit with that uh, ID switch. So I'll just uh, create another line, edit that line, three position switch. Now we've got the same problem in that operating the three position switch the elevator is going 100% up and 100% down, so we need to do those offsets again. So we need to change the weight and the offset for the elevator compensation. So we'll drop that right down to something like, I'd say 10%. And that may even be too much, you really just have to try it. 10% offset as well. So now when the flapperons go down, the elevator goes down a little bit as well to stop the, stop the ballooning up. Now there's another way of achieving this, and it's the way I would probably use. Copy line down, edit that line. Now instead of choosing the three position switch, you would choose max, there we go. Choose your weight there. For example, do minus 25 and minus 50. <clears throat> Don't need to do the offset for this one and you keep going down to the switch and then you choose the switch you want to activate the effect. So that's ID1 in the middle. So now go back and copy that line again. Edit that line. Leave it on max. Go down to minus 50 or whatever value you want. And choose the up switch position that you want. So ID2. And then you just copy those down to the other channel. So to set up the elevator compensation you just then copy those lines down to elevator and go in and uh, we'll need to change the direction and weight. I'd go 5 and 10 and if we have to change those to positive as well. So with this method you don't need to worry about the offset. You just plug in the value you want the flapper ons to be. So now we have the flapper ons and elevator compensation both working. Anyway, give it a go and uh, see how it works.